All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we're answering a very common question when it comes to fig trees. Where do they grow best? And I think there's two parts to this question. First is, where in the world do they grow best? And the second part is, where in my yard should I plant them so they'll do the best? I think I'm probably the perfect person to answer this question because I live in the Philadelphia area and it definitely comes with challenges when it comes to growing fig trees because first and foremost, the winter can be rather cold. The fig tree, when it gets down to zero or below zero degrees Fahrenheit, the fig tree will take damage and suffer. And if the fig tree takes a lot of damage in the winter time, it can be very difficult to get it to fruit the following year. So it's really important to live in a place that's warm enough in the winter time, typically at least in a zone 7B or at least a zone 8 or higher. Now, what about the rain? I also live in quite a rainy place. Now, certainly I'm not living in Florida or somewhere semi-tropical, but we get a lot of remnants from the hurricanes that come up, just like Hurricane Debbie that came through recently. And that destroyed a lot of figs on my trees. I also had to pick them early because if I let the rain hit the fruits, the rain will seep into the fruits, fast expand the fruits, causing them to split, crack. It lowers the sugar content. They don't taste as good. They also mold, spoil, and ferment a lot easier when the rain hits them. So you don't wanna live somewhere rainy while the figs are ripening. In fact, that's why places like the Mediterranean or really desert-like conditions is the best for ripening high quality figs. In fact, not only does the rain damage them, but excessive soil moisture lowers the quality of the figs. So the drier the soil is throughout the course of the season, the better the figs are gonna taste. Uh, and in fact, you're even gonna pick up flavors in the figs that you otherwise would not have even guessed would ever be in the taste or the eating experience of a fig. You can have some incredible flavors in figs, and I've tasted them when grown in pots, I've tasted them when grown in wet soil, I've tasted them when grown in drier soil. The difference is clear. The drier the soil is, the much better the figs are gonna taste. But the more wet the soil is, to an extent, the better the trees are gonna grow, the happier the trees are gonna be, the more the figs can potentially produce. So I would argue you want it somewhere that's gonna be dry, but you don't want it to be so bone dry that the trees struggle to actually fruit and produce. Now, what about our length of a season? Because that's the other problem we have here in the Philadelphia area. We only have 180 frost-free days. So I think you need about 150 to reliably ripen most early to ripen main crop fig varieties. But generally, I'm gonna struggle here in my location to ripen a lot of the late ones. So the best tasting fig varieties out there like Italian 258, the Col de Doms, Black Madeira. These are all really tasty figs. But a lot of the time, I'm gonna struggle to ripen all of them on that tree in the length of my season. So you wanna live somewhere with a long growing season. The other thing that you need is a lot of heat. Heat inevitably is gonna actually do the same thing the drier weather does. It's gonna produce higher quality figs because the figs are gonna ripen faster on the tree. If they ripen faster on the tree, it's actually gonna change the way that they have a different texture to them. They're gonna have a tougher skin. They're gonna have a thicker skin. Uh, the pulp's gonna be typically jammier. They're gonna have more structure to them. Um, if you have colder temperatures, you have to let them ripen longer. They'll be softer. Uh, they'll be a bit mushier, more like jam. Uh, that can be a good thing or a bad thing. But generally for me, I like to pick them when it's really warm outside here in the Philadelphia area, actually when it's like July, that's the perfect time. Get them right off the tree when it's almost hundred degrees out, 90, 95, that's the perfect time to be picking your figs. So the answer is, where do you wanna grow them? Somewhere hot and dry, that's above, let's say zone eight in the winter time, and that has a long growing season. At least 200, maybe 210 frost-free days or more, uh, I think is probably ideal. And then um, where do you wanna plant them in your yard so you can see the most success? Well, it's the same thing, kind of what I just said, the hottest and driest spot. And the reason for that some of you guys might be thinking, well, what about if I live in Southern California, West Texas, the desert? Why would I wanna put my fig tree in the hottest and driest spot? Well, it can handle it. Whereas if you were to put something else in that spot, like a stone fruit, apple, pear, 
let's say some berry uh, that you want to grow, it's going to struggle. They like more mild conditions, consistently wet soil or moist soil, whereas the fig will eventually be able to handle those hot and dry conditions, even if you had to give it some shade cloth, maybe the first couple of years, extra mulch, extra irrigation, eventually it's going to be able to handle it. And so those are my recommendations there, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check out my blog, figboss.com for more information. Take care.